What's going on guys? It's Tom the Ark and today I want to bring you a brand new video talking about a follow-up to the last video that I did. If you didn't see part one, you could check out the link in the description. Maybe there'll be an annotation here. We'll see how lazy I am when I upload this. But you actually don't have to. This video is kind of like its own thing. Uh, so you could just sit back, relax. And if you didn't see that, then why aren't you a loyal subscriber? Why don't you watch all of my videos? What the f***? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Anyway, so let's, let's jump right into the topic. So the thing I wanted to talk about today is why YouTubers change their content as they get bigger. In my last video, I mentioned, you know, kind of the, the whole Nade Shot example. And I know that recently when I watch Nade Shot's videos, the comment section uh, usually has one or two top comments saying like, you know, Nade Shot's a hype beast. Nade Shot buys $10,000 shoes uh, and he's not the nerdy kid that I used to watch back in 2013. And I think this goes for a ton of big YouTubers when they finally do get a, a larger audience and they get more subscribers and a bigger fan base uh, they do tend to change the content that they upload on YouTube and a lot of people wonder why like why would you change uh, if you know what you're doing was successful and this is what we came here for uh, why are you why are you doing something different in my last example you know like I said Nade shot used to be a full Call of Duty channel you know he did Call of Duty videos similar I guess to this one but mainly more uh, competitive stuff and you know maybe tournament recap videos and things along those lines and that was main channels mainly vlogs day in the lives and different things that he does you know with his friends in LA and you know his secondary channel is actually where he'll post uh, game battles or you know 2v2 tournaments or whatever he does over there and I do watch both channels but I do tend to watch his main channel more because I do actually prefer that content and that's really weird for some reason you know I subbed to him for Call of Duty obviously but I, I I prefer to watch his day in the lifes now as opposed to his Call of Duty videos there's a few reasons for why the content changes and I think one big one uh, that maybe not a lot of people realize is that when you get to a certain point on YouTube uh, where you have a decent amount of money at at least from your ad revenues and potentially streams or whatever else that you do you know your life actually changes you know right now uh, I work for minimum wage I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys I'm currently going to college I have one more year left uh, before I can get my bachelor's degree and you know so right now currently I work uh, at the mall you know I work in, in like a retail store so you know I work minimum wage and I live in like a very very like low-cost apartment things along those, lo along those lines so if I were to do like a day in the life uh, it wouldn't be that interesting because there's not much that I could really afford to do I guess because my time is mainly taken up by school work or you know making YouTube videos and gaming and there's really not much time and extra money to do really awesome things but when you get to that size on YouTube where YouTube actually covers all of your expenses uh, and you don't have a job and you don't go to school you have a ton of free time to make day in the lives and actually go places and do different things and people actually want to watch that and the reason and it sounds weird like oh why would you want to watch someone just live their life the reason that I personally think that people find day in the lives you know like Nate shots videos really entertaining is because they are living the life of a YouTuber, which is like something that a lot of people I would assume on this site are either fascinated about or hope that they can do one day themselves. This is a weird genre. This is a weird, you know, type of entertainment. You know, this is not something that we've seen recently or on television. You know, you do see reality TV shows, which are wildly popular. Uh, and you know, a YouTuber whose main job is YouTube uh, can easily film their entire life. And it's basically like their own reality show that people some for some reason reason watch and and they and they like to watch because it's new and it's interesting you know you get to see the lives of people who basically live their life however they want uh, they live their life as their YouTube brand I guess as a youtuber and they're kind of like famous and it's kind of like getting to see you know behind the scenes and into the life of someone that you idolize or that you think is I guess famous so I think that's one that's one reason that the content changes because they do get really big on YouTube uh, and people actually want to see what their day-to-day -day life is like they start to care more about the personality and more about the individual uh, than what they used to do as far as gaming or whatever it might be I know if you you guys probably don't know much about this youtuber but Zoella is a massive youtuber on this platform and she started by doing uh, beauty tips and haul videos and different things like that uh, but now she she vlogs pretty frequently especially in uh, December and Veda you know she vlogs very frequently and people just tune in to watch her daily life and personally as someone who doesn't give a fuck about beauty products 
products I'm much more likely to watch her vlogs and I've actually watched a ton of them uh, over the past year or two years or whatever uh, and that's a huge thing because I get to you know even though I don't relate to her specific niche on YouTube um, I can relate to her living her daily life and seeing you know where she goes shopping or what you know she spends her money on or you know what she'll cook for dinner or how she just lives her life in general and you're looking into like I said the the life of someone that's pretty mega famous I mean she's you know she's been in magazines and she's written I think one or two books I'm not entirely sure she has her own makeup line like she's super super famous but you get to just see her as like a friend in her vlogs and that's really cool uh, and I think that's you know the same goes for pretty much any youtuber who gets really big and then just starts vlogging I know Fousey tube uh, you know will ignore the fact that leafy's kind of made him a meme at this point but you know dose of Fousey is his vlogging channel and you know a year and a half two years ago I used to watch dose of Fousey all the time because it was cool to see this uh, you know successful guy on YouTube live in LA and see what his life is like and he has a nice car and a nice apartment and you get to basically look see what this famous person's life is like and that's really really cool and like I said this is the main reason I think that their content changes uh, because their fan base actually starts to wonder like what is it like to be nade shot or what is it like to be Zoella or FouseyTube or whoever it is what's it like to live in their life you know what it must be insane to be able to do YouTube for a living I would love to watch their daily life and that's what they do the other reason and this is from a content creator perspective right is if you do YouTube for a living you have to constantly think of videos to upload you have to constantly come up with new ideas and new creative things to post on your channel because this is your job and I know all of these big youtubers definitely started as a hobby they didn't start it to make money uh, they did start it as a hobby so they do love doing it but now that it is tied to their livelihood and their bank account they definitely are obligated to upload more frequently and they have to keep coming up with new ideas and the problem with that is you know sometimes you just are drained for creativity and and when you have to upload daily or every other day uh, you lose creativity in in just small burst you know you might go uh, two or three weeks where you can't really think of a really good creative video or maybe there's nothing really going on in like the media there's no trends or going on like the ice bucket challenge or or whatever the current trend is or you know something like that where you know maybe you just don't have a really good uh, idea for a video that particular day but people would actually like to see what your day is like and it's easy uh, in terms of creativity where you can just record your daily life and people are okay with that people want to see that anyway so if you can't think of a really good good creative idea to make for the day uh, vlogging your day is you know pretty good people like to see that so you know um, it's it's not like it's not like a cop-out or it's not like cheating or whatever um, but you know when you do have to upload five plus times a week every day of the year for your entire life uh, you're not gonna be creative with every single video and a vlog is an easy way where you can just show people what you do during the day and you know because people do you know because these youtubers do take this as a hobby uh, and this is something that they love to do they can make it creative with different uh, you know different shots and, and angles and different things that they can do and places they can go and I think that's another big reason why their content changes once they get bigger another thing that people really have to consider when saying like oh you know you're not the person that I used to watch back in 2013 or you're not the same person that I subscribe to you have to keep in mind that people actually do change that's just human nature you know people's interests change uh, people grow up you know a lot of people on YouTube are really young at least when they start out uh, YouTube is a very young platform there's a lot of young people on this you know website uh, you don't see super famous 50 year olds uh, on YouTube I mean maybe there's a few that I can't think of but in general they're they're usually under the age of like 30 or something like that but when they started they were a lot younger you know a lot of people started when they were 16 or 17 or 18 or something along those lines and you know the period from when you're 18 to 21 or 22 uh, it's only a few years but you actually grow a ton in that period and that's something that I'm currently going through and I'm near the end of that um, and you kind of take this time to like figure out who you are and what you like to do and what type of person you are and your personality uh, in particular actually grows and you grow up as a person you mature a little bit and you don't completely change you're still the same person uh, but you know you do different things you know you might be interested in other things uh, and this is something that's you know really big with the whole nature example that I gave before a lot of people are saying oh he's not that you know shy nerdy kid that was you know really funny and got famous on YouTube for it uh, and, and that makes sense you know he's not that person anymore and, and I don't think that's by choice uh, he's just grown up you know he's grown up 
uh, he has you know a full-time job now you know he's more confident because he's successful uh, and I think all those things aren't um, I don't think those are all a facade I don't think those are just part of his brand uh, it's not like he decided okay I'm gonna be this cocky confident douchebag now uh, it's it's not like that he actually legitimately grew up uh, and he's not the same person and that's not because he doesn't want to be um, it's because people mature and people get older and that's definitely a reason why their content would change because people change in general so they're gonna you know have different interests and they're gonna upload different things to the channel as they get older and you might not realize it but you know if you go back three years you'll see that the content is completely different and that's because it's a gradual thing and people gradually mature and gradually change over time and the final thing that I want to talk about today is the actual money portion of YouTube and this is definitely a reason why content changes as someone gets bigger so when YouTube becomes your full-time job you really do have to stay consistent and also you become more obsessed with analytics than ever before and that's because your livelihood and bank account is tied to how well your channel is doing a lot of people might say oh you're just doing it for the money you're just doing it for money well yeah at some point uh, you know when you're, you're when the food on your table is only dependent on whether or not you or YouTube channel is successful you're gonna start to change up and you're gonna start to change the way that you make your videos some people are gonna start following bigger trends some people are gonna change the content a, a little bit to maybe follow what other people are doing you know if, if uh, reaction videos are popular right now then you know a big youtuber might post a reaction video to their older content or a reaction video to a uh, a viral video or something on along those lines and you know it does sound kind of cheap and like they sold out or, or whatever but like I said you know they are eating off of YouTube you know they are trying to make their livelihood and their living off of YouTube and if a trend is popular uh, they're going to capitalize on that because that's their job that you know their job is to you know post what is relevant what's buzzing and what's trending and what's popular and you know if they can do that then they're probably gonna get more views and that's also why you might see the production quality increase in their videos you know you might see their thumbnails and titles change they might get a little bit more clickbaity which I've talked about in a previous video that you can check out right here or wherever actually this this is gonna be like a little corner shot so you could check it out on the screen somewhere wherever I put that annotation I'm gonna shut up now so yeah, those are like the three or four reasons. I don't remember how many reasons I gave you, but those are the reasons, in my opinion, uh, that people change on YouTube. You know, as they get bigger, it's natural that their content is going to change. And does that suck? I guess so. Uh, but the good the good news is that when one nade shot become you know when someone becomes a nade shot you know let's say someone goes from being a Call of Duty YouTuber to a vlogger in LA that leaves room for the next nade shot to come in and that gives room for growth for smaller channels to fill that niche that he may not be uh, catering to completely or as much as he did before so now if you want to watch nade shots videos and you want to see what his life is like and his daily vlogs and the cool things he gets to do uh, you can do that but at the same time now you can find another new youtuber uh, who does what you miss about nade shot you know there's tons and tons of people on this website doing a uh, video game typed videos and you can find someone else on YouTube who is similar to the nature that you used to subscribe to and I think that's really cool and I think that that's you know what this whole website is all about and I think that's awesome and I also think that you're gonna find even more people uh, that are more creative or do different things and things that you didn't know about uh, when you start looking into those smaller tiny channels uh, because you know people are always trying to get their voices heard and they're always trying to do something interesting or bring what they have to the table so I think that's awesome that you know we have the nade shots now and we have these greats and these great the giant channels but we also have people like my size and smaller where you know they're just doing what uh, what they love to do and, and that's awesome and you can find more people like that on this website and you can probably satisfy that uh, hunger that you have for a particular type of content because there's just so many people on this platform anyway that's a bit for me guys hopefully you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure you smack a like on this uh, if you do actually like the video there will be a brand new Mercedes in your driveway I'm not kidding uh, it will be rainbow colored it'll be bulletproof and you won't be able to even pop the tires and also since the car will be rainbow colored uh, and super fast cops will recognize this car and not even pull you over for speeding because they're gonna know oh that's that homie that liked Omniarch's video definitely serious about this definitely not voodoo magic it will happen so like the video if you're a baller if you're new around here you could subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one and comment down below telling me what do you think about youtubers changing the content that they post uh, do you think that they should change their content or do you think that you or do you wish uh, that they would just stay the same and they wouldn't let the YouTube machine get to them I'd love to hear your thoughts below so make sure you drop them uh, and that's pretty much it guys so thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch and I will talk to you guys later peace out